Hi y'all, it's me, Trudy Lee. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's January 1st, 2019. Yes, this is my new microphone. Every time I do a Trump reading or a Trump bass reading, I'm going to use this as my microphone. Do y'all like it? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm going to start out every reading on Trump with this, for sure. I love it. Scrubby Debbie. All right. I just had to do that. That was fun. All right. So I'm going to do a reading on Trump's base, okay? If his supporters are going to continue to um, support him in 2019, how that's going to go. I'm going to take a quick look with just a four-card reading, okay? But first, I want to tell y'all, have y'all had, did y'all have a really wonderful Christmas, a Christmas and a New Year's Eve? I'm trying to say, which I can't. I had a great New Year's Eve. It was fun. It was, you know, I had such a great bunch of fireworks around our house. We didn't have to go anywhere. We could just sit in the house, open the windows. I mean, they were just uh, lighting fireworks left and right. Somebody put on a great, great display. I'm telling you, they must have spent a thousand dollars on fireworks because they're not, they're not cheap. They're expensive. This guy did a great display and we could see it just right from our windows. It was like right over our house. It was perfect. So we just sat in front of the TV, watched TV and watched the fireworks and stayed in because we don't, we don't go out anymore. We don't do that. We're past all that. We're, we stay in and stay safe, right? Anyway, I hope everybody else stayed in and stayed safe or if you went out, you took an Uber going coming back <laughs> or somebody drove you, you know, had a appointed driver. Anyway, Oh gosh, I got to tell y'all something that was really, really funny. Okay. You can see that I love to put on makeup, right? I like to wear makeup. I wear lots of it. And of course it takes me time to put it on. Okay. So it takes me like 45 minutes to put on my makeup when I'm hurrying. I mean, that's when I'm hurrying. Okay. And my husband was watching me today and he made a suggestion. He told me, why don't you just take a picture of yourself after you put on all your makeup and why don't you just leave that picture up while you're doing a reading and that way they can just look at your picture and then you can just, you know, uh, you can just tell the reading and they can hear your voice. And I'm like, what? I'm like, really? Seriously? I mean, he was dead serious. I'm like, really? Come on. I told him I have a better idea. Why don't you pay the money for me to go get all my makeup tattooed on <laughs> and then I wouldn't have to put it on every morning. I think that was a better option. I would go for that. Would you go for that? I would do it. I mean, it's expensive, but I met this lady one time and she had all her makeup tattooed on. She had her eyebrows. She had eyeshadow tattooed on. She had blush tattooed on everything and it looked good. It looked really, really good. And I'm like, Oh yeah. I don't know about eyeliner. I, that would kind of hurt. Uh, I could put eyeliner and mascara on and everything else was done. Yay. I'd like that. But I don't know. What if you wanted to do like a self tanner and you had stuff on? How would that work? Anyway, so I probably wouldn't do it because I'm a big chicken. I just talk big. <laughs> All right. Let me get to my reading here. Enough taking up your time. Sorry for newcomers. Yeah, that's how I am. I talk too much. I've had a really, really busy day today. I had a lot of readings lined up. I did it. I mean, I don't know why I did that. I lined up a bunch of readings and my children came over for lunch with the grandchildren. So I've had a really, really busy day. I've had a lot of visitors the last couple of days. I still have a visitor here in my house. I have a nephew here, but uh, my daughter's entertaining him. They're, they're closer in age. They're, they're both in their 30s, so they're, they're entertaining each other. It's good. All right, so it's been super busy, and hopefully now it's going to quiet down and I can do more readings. Please, Lord. <laughs> I need some downtime. <laughs> All right, here's the first card. Will Trump's base weaken in 2019? The first card that I came up with is the Ace of Wands. So they still feel all fired up, y'all. They, they're fired up. They're inspired by this government shutdown. It just inspired them. They're like, yeah, Trump. It doesn't bother them yet. Not yet. They're, they're inspired by the government shutdown. They're just like, get them, Trump, you know? They don't know they're hurting themselves and, 
you know, their extended families and everything and other business people, it'll affect them in the long run. I mean, if it kept going, it would affect everybody. We would all feel it. But, uh, you know, they think that they're going to get the wall. <laughs> Here's the second card. This is the Six of Cups. This is that nostalgia card, you know. So his base really wants to return back to a time when the coal mines were churning out coal. People were dying from accidents in the coal mines. They had black lung disease. Uh, people, you know, of color and had little to no rights, you know. Uh, they, they would prefer that uh, Hispanic people uh, be paid under the table or no wages at all. You know, women stayed at home, cooked dinner, obeyed their husbands. It's Christian way, y'all. <laughs> that, that's what the nostalgia card means. That's what it means. They want to go back to the old times. You know, probably about around the 50s or something. Uh, look, look, at look, 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 look. This is the Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah. They're going to be betrayed and stabbed in the back. So there is going to be a reckoning. They'll be betrayed and stabbed in the back by Trump. And that's going to change things. That's when things are going to change. That's when the supporters are going to start dropping off, y'all. They're going to start dropping off. They're going to feel like they've been stabbed in the back. Things are coming down the pike. And here's the three of wands. This is the last card. Big changes are coming. That's what this means. He's looking out into the horizon. And when his when there's a person with their back to us in a card, that means leaving. So it looks like his supporters will be leaving him. Yes, they're turning their back on him. And they're looking for a new candidate to support. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen in 2019. Okay, that's my reading, and I think that's what's that's what's going to be going on for 2019. He'll probably have a lot of support for a while, but they're going to start turning, turning. Little by little, they'll start turning on him. They're going to feel like they've been betrayed and stabbed in the back because they're going to learn more and more information that's going to be coming out in the Mueller reports and all. So that's my take on it, okay, guys? All right, thank you so much for all your messages and all your... Um, New Year's and Christmas messages and good wishes. I really appreciate them. Thanks for watching my channel all year long and supporting me. I appreciate it. Probably not all year. I probably had this channel for seven or eight months, something like that. But thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. If you like my channel, hit the like button. And uh, if you'd like to get a reading, you can look down below. It'll be there. It's Trudy Lee Tarot at Hotmail.com. Okay, so contact me and we'll set up a reading, okay? All right, guys, till we see each other again, y'all take care. Do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Bye for now. Love you guys.